What up, Mewtwo? My name is Cherise. Welcome to Reese TV. Glad that you're here. This is my Game of Thrones The Door review. I'll be reviewing this with my normal OMG moments. Just be careful of spoilers if you have not seen this episode. OMG moment number seven. Sansa schools Littlefinger on Ramsay. Because out of all the knowledge that Littlefinger has, he apparently turns into Jon Snow about Ramsay. He allegedly knew nothing about the House of Bolton outside of the knowledge that they torture their enemies. But Sansa is a bride. She's not an enemy. So rather or not Littlefinger was telling the truth is honestly yet to be seen. Though it is very uncharacteristic for Littlefinger not to know. I mean, he has informants just like Varus, but it is unclear as to who his informants are. OMG moment number six. Arya watches a comical play of what happened at King's Landing. Now, while this hinders the girl from becoming no one, it has spawned a fan theory. The theory goes, the hit on the actress that plays Cersei that was placed by the actress that plays Sansa foreshadows what will happen between the real Cersei and the real Sansa. But does this theory have any validity? Well, let's go from what we know. We know from Cersei's prophecy from Maggie the Frog that she will be queen for a time until a younger, more beautiful person will take all that she holds dear. Now, while we know that Sansa did not kill Joffrey or have anything to do with Joffrey's death, how she left the purple wedding made Sansa a suspect. And though Marjorie is queen, she has yet to fully overthrow Cersei. And from what we have seen from this episode, Sansa has learned to play the Game of Thrones like a boss. So Sansa, with a little bit of help from her little sister, Arya, could very well be the person in Cersei's prophecy. By the way, balls. Now let's go ahead and explain this. While the showrunners have not shied away from showing penises in the series. Well, as long as it is limp, of course. This is the first time that we actually get a good shot at some balls. This is something that the actress who plays Danny is happy about as she has been petitioning for male nudity on Game of Thrones. But how do you feel about it? OMG moment number five, the origin of the Night King. Of course, this is not the origin that we were looking for as it is not a fan theory or from the books. But I believe that this is equally satisfying. The revelation that the children of the forest made the whites in order to protect the forest from the first man, but lost control of them just like any artificial intelligence story as a new element to the show and it explains why the Whites are vulnerable to Dragon's Glass. OMG moment number four. Euron Greyjoy admits to killing his brother. Yes, we all knew that Euron Greyjoy was going to make an appearance at the King's Mute. However, I was surprised that Euron Greyjoy admitted to killing his brother so quickly. By the way, the saying, what is dead may never die, Euron Greyjoy definitely killed his brother and his brother is still dead. So I think that is time to pick another saying. I'm just saying. OMG moment number three. George shows Danny his grayscale. I actually thought that he was going to hide it until he couldn't hide it anymore. Or that Danny's play toy, Deiro, would have outed him trying to protect Danny. But how great was it that Danny ordered him to find a cure? But the question is, will he? Well, let's go from what we know. The only one that we know that was cured of grayscale is dead. Her father, Stannis is dead. So where can Jorah find the cure? Well, we know that Stan has called every healer around the Narrow Sea in order to cure his daughter. And through the combination of their efforts, they succeeded. But unlike Stannis, Jorah doesn't have a lot of money at his disposal. However, what he lacks in money, he makes up in will. And also Stannis' old right-hand man probably knows something. OMG moment number two, the White's King touches Bran. Now, did anybody else sing Michael Jackson's Thriller during this scene? And OMG moment number one. <laughs> the origin of Hodor. 
I'm still recovering from this scene. I feel like we need a hold the door support group after watching this scene. This scene was downright emotional. And now we know what the three-eyed raven meant by the past is already written, the ink is dry. In retrospect, when Bran asked Hodor what happened to his speech, we see that Hodor told Bran that he happened. Meaning that he remembered Bran from the time that he was young and still decided to hang around him. Hashtag friendship goals. But what does this mean for Bran in the future or past? Because if the past is already written and the ink is dry, it begs the question of how many events that were in the past was Bran actually a part of? And that is where I'm going to end this review. Tell me, what did you think about this episode? Let's talk nerdy in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave this video a like and a share. I make a video every week, so please subscribe so I can see you next time. Bye-bye.